critical in drug screening and other applications such as cell therapy research. Spheroids are coveted for their ability to more closely resemble the original tissue biology from which they were derived. 3D cultures are now being widely adopted and this is driving the need for more efficient methods to produce mass quantities of replicated uniform size spheroids. The Corning Alplasia 12K flask addresses this need by enabling the straightforward generation of large quantities of uniform spheroids under scaffold-free conditions. The Corning Alplasia 12K flask features a unique micro-cavity geometry that enables easy spheroid formation, culture, treatment, assessment, and harvest with approximately 12,000 spheroids of uniform size and shape per flask. To get started, remove the Corning Alplasia 12K flask packaging and orange protective tray. The microcavity surface should be pre-wet prior to seeding cells to ensure the cell suspension enters every microcavity. After adding the wetting agent, gently bring the flask down to the incubation position, allowing the liquid to fully distribute across the microcavity surface. As the wetting agent enters the microcavities, the microcavities will become optically clear. Gentle agitation or tapping may be required to fully wet the surface. To remove the wetting agent, bring the flask back to the upright position and aspirate. The microcavity surface should be rinsed several times with water and 1x PBS to remove residual traces of the wetting agent prior to seeding cells. The flask can now be used to seed cells immediately or can be stored temporarily in a biosafety cabinet or cell culture incubator until cells are ready for seeding. Some optimizations of cell culture conditions and handling will be required depending on cell type, seeding density, and desired culture time. To seed the cells, prepare cell suspension at the desired seeding density in 25 to 30 milliliters of complete cell culture medium. Place the flask in the upright position and dispense the cell suspension to the bottom of the flask. Keeping the flask in the upright position, transfer the flask to an appropriate cell culture incubator. As you place the flask in the incubator, gently bring the flask to the incubation position. Allow the liquid to fully distribute across the microcavity surface and swirl the flask lightly to evenly distribute the cell suspension. During normal handling, keep the flask in the incubation position and avoid tapping or hitting the edges of vessel. Moving the vessel to the upright position or tapping the sides may cause the spheroids to dislodge from the microcavities. During medium exchanges, the canted neck and the liquid diverter feature allow for gentle flow of medium into and out of the vessel. Lifting the back end of the flask three or four degrees drives the liquid towards the diverter feature and the canted neck to enable full liquid removal. To remove spent medium, place the pipette tip up against the diverter feature and begin to aspirate medium out. To replace medium, place the pipette tip up against the diverter feature and slowly add fresh medium into the flask. A working volume of 25 to 30 milliliters is recommended. However, optimal final volume will depend on cell type and feeding schedule. Similar medium exchange can be done, leaving the flask in the incubation position for media removal and addition. A residual spent medium volume of approximately 2 milliliters will be left in the vessel. Once the medium exchange is complete, gently remove the angling device and bring the flask back to the flat incubation position. Recap and transfer back to the cell culture incubator. For spheroid collection and harvest, remove spent medium, then add desired collection solution, and gently tip, tap, and swirl the flask to dislodge spheroid from the microcavities. Bring the flask to the upright position to release the spheroids from the microcavities and prevent them from resettling. Spheroids can be collected and transferred to a separate collection container. It may be necessary to perform additional rinses of the microcavity surface with fresh collection solution to recover all spheroids. A back and forth motion like a windshield wiper against the growth surface is recommended to rinse the spheroids out. 
Depending on downstream requirements, spheroids can also be dissociated into single cells directly in the vessel. To dissociate the cells, remove spent medium and perform a 1x PBX rinse. Add 5 to 10 milliliters of desired dissociation reagent and allow liquid to fully distribute across the surface, swirling the flask lightly. Incubate the spheroid cultures according to the dissociation reagent protocol for spheroid culture. Spheroids will appear larger and will lose their shape once they are ready for dissociation. Bring the flask to the upright position to release the spheroids. Pipette the suspension up and down several times to dissociate the spheroids. Dilute the dissociation solution with an equal volume of quenching solution, usually serum containing growth medium, and transfer the cell suspension to a separate collection container. To ensure single cell suspension, cells can be passed through a 70 micrometer cell strainer. To learn more about the Corning Alplasia 12K flask, visit www.corning.com slash alplasia.